Hello, Jeff Bullock. We're starting the workout today with a rope sled pull-in. That's with a big rope attached to the sled. You're gonna sit in a squat position, pull hand over hand. Make sure you grip that rope, pull the elbow back. Grip the rope, pull the elbow back. Strengthen that grip, strengthen your back. Why pulling the sled into you? Keep a good solid base. Try not to move too much up and down. Try to stay a good solid base. You can rotate if you want. Uh, but make sure you're pulling that elbow back, not your hand in. Pull the elbow back. You're going to pull it all the way into you. Then you're going to push it back. It should, should get steadily harder because the ropes can get longer. Uh, and then after that, you're going to sprint on the turf. Sprint to the windows and back twice. And then you're going to go right into step ups. Step ups on the box. 15 each leg. 15 each leg. And then equalizer crawl forwards. So you're going to crawl forward through the equalizer. Stay in low. Do not hit the equalizer. That's why they're there. They want you to just keep your hips low. Abs tight. Pushing forward with your legs. Crawl forward. And then run back to the beginning. You're going to do that twice. So remember to run back to the beginning both times. After that, you're going to run over to the dumbbells. You're going to do alternating overhead press. 12 each arm. Make sure you're bringing the elbows down. Full extension. 12 each arm. Alternating. Then you're going to do a farmer's walk. So your shoulders are going to be tied. You're going to go right into a farmer's walk. Try to do the same weight both times. You're going to go down around the cone and back twice. Do not run and go super fast. Make Stay a steady pace. A lot of people will try to go heavier. So they'll go as fast as they can to get heavier down there. That's not the point. Your point is to strengthen your grip. It's not how fast you can go or how heavy you can go. It's to strengthen the grip. You want to keep that dumbbell level the whole time and your hand closed. So you're not squeezing, but you want your hand closed. You don't want it to go into your fingers. You want your hand closed the whole time, keeping the dumbbell level. Uh, again, there's going to be detailed videos in this. Immediately after the farmer's walk, down and back twice, you're going to go to the row machine and do 250 meter row. Uh, 250 meters shouldn't take too long. Make sure you stay nice and tall, abs tight, get a good hard pull back. Staying tall, don't let your body run forward, stay tall, 250 meters. Uh, we do want to obviously keep in good form, uh, but this is going to be a 30 minute, as many rounds as possible, also known as the AMRAP. Uh, so do as many times as you can through that steady flow through. If somebody's on that sled pull in, go ahead and do the running while they, while they pull it in and then switch to the sled pull after that. You can switch that sequence up if you want uh, just to keep moving. Uh, but do post how many rounds you get, put your initials and then how many rounds you get uh, so we can see how people do. Have a good workout.